Hey, what's up everyone? Today I am back at it again, but this time we're going to talk about the new exosuit that's going to be available, that is if we complete this next major order. We're also going to check out the exosuit gameplay and see exactly what this exosuit looks like and how it performs and functions. So with that being said, if you enjoy the video and you find it informative, make sure to click the thumbs up button below the video. First off, I do have to admit it's becoming quite difficult to complete these new major orders considering that half of the player base has left or most of them do not have access to the game because in their region it's completely blocked. Now sure, that is becoming quite a difficult situation, but I do believe we might be able to complete this next major order. So before we get into that, let's go ahead and check out the briefing here. It says, Surveillance Satellite Security has acquired imagery of a massive automaton factory on the planet Virilia 5. Structural analysts indicate a clear resemblance to the famed Morgeson Arsenal on Tia Kwan. Clearly, this is a crude attempt to replicating the quality craftsmanship of that facility. But this automaton pedifactory, as enemy transmissions called, is merely an apparent imitation. Its only purpose is to mass produce weapons of war in order to further the automaton's totalitarian agenda. Its worker drones are forced to labor nonstop, and the environmental impacts are devastating. However, the undemocratic abomination may yet be turned into an instrument of freedom with low-cost alteration. The pedifactory could be retrofitted to allow the construction of a dual autocannon exosuit variant, the Exo-49 Emancipator Exosuit. The Helldivers are ordered to liberate Virilia 5 immediately before it becomes too despotic to salvage. And there we go. So we know what we're doing here. And by the way, when I checked on the planets here, man, it's not good. It's like 29,000 people or maybe 25,000 people. And typically around this time or at least around 2 or 1 or somewhere around there, you do see at least a little bit of a pop when it comes down to the player base. But here it's just it's starting to look pretty bad. And I do have to say that I believe we will be able to complete this major order despite the lack of players because this order is honestly not that massive. It's not a big deal. It's one planet to liberate. But I have to say that it's going to be quite difficult because it's only 20,000 to 25,000 players. Not to mention there's also the fact that the nerfing and buffing balancing issues behind the scene is going on. So we really do not know how effective this is going to be once that update is live. And I'm sure just like many of you, I am very skeptical about the update that is about to arrive because we do not know whether or not this is going to make things better or worse. The exosuit does sound like a pretty awesome reward, but at the same time, I'm not too sure how many are motivated to actually hop into game and try to, you know, liberate this planet. Now, given it is one planet, but I feel like if the player base was a bit higher, you would probably see about three to four planets here. Yeah, considering that the player base is a bit too low right now, this is probably why they only gave us one planet to liberate. And speaking of the player base, I do want to bring this up right here. If you head over towards steamdb.info, you can see this right here, which is the players right now. And it's currently at 49,000, almost 50,000. And so if you take a look right here on Thursday, 23rd May, you can see it's at 60,000 and then it drops right around 9 UTC. This right here is typical because this is usually when the numbers begin to drop. And then right as it reaches 16 UTC, you can see that it's up to 47,000 right now. But usually around that time, it gets to 52 to 60,000 and we'll see what happens. But I do believe the player base is going to continue to drop and you're not going to see this player base pick back up unless there's some major order, some major update I should say that gives you something. But yeah, I do not believe the player base is going to pick back up because there's just been too many weird situations with the CEO, you know, with updates, balancing. It's been an odd time. There's a lot of you in the previous comment that basically expressed your opinions about the new CEO and you guys believe that he's actually going to ruin everything. But with that being said, I'm sure we will find out whether or not this is a good idea or a bad idea. We're now going to move on and talk about the new exosuit. How does it look in game? How does it function? Is it worth picking up? We're going to go over all that stuff, but we're also going to talk about the credits here because I do want to give credit to Emptiness, the leaker that was able to showcase all this information here. And I also want to say that when it comes down to the exosuit, some things could change. The color, the way it performs, the damage, call-in time, etc. All sorts of things, right? 
So now that we have that information out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the gameplay here. But I am also going to read you guys what exactly Emptiness has said about this. He says right here, there's two uses. The cooldown is 600 seconds, which is typical, right? Uh, pretty tanky mech with dual auto cannons is what he mentions. And then he continues on to say great damage, 300 plus 60 direct hit, 150 plus 150 explosion, heavy medium penetration, 5 direct hit, 3 explosion. Then he updates it right here by saying, update, so Bile Titan takes so many hits to kill, probably because aside from main damage stats, there's so called structure slash armor damage, which only 60 for the auto cannon mech. Then he continues on to say, what I think is the structure armor damage is basically how much damage you will do if armor not fully penetrated, or you known as white reticle, but when armor fully penetrated, it will do 300 plus 60 damage. This one I set the structure slash damage to be the same as main damage. So to be completely real with you guys, I could probably care less about this exosuit. I, I'm not trying to be negative about it, but there's really nothing here to where I'm like, cool, I really want to use this. There needs to be more to the balance, weapons, and everything else to make me feel like, okay, I can actually hop back into the game and see how things are going. Now, I'm not saying that this mech looks terrible, that it functions terrible, or anything bad about it, right? What I'm saying is that I do not feel motivated to hop back into game and try to complete a major order that might possibly fail. Because in all honesty, it's just terrible right now. When it comes down to the spawn system, when it comes down to the weapons, you guys know everything that's going on, right? And I know how you guys feel about it, you guys know how I feel about it, it's pretty disappointing right now. So when things get better, maybe I'll hop back on and see how things are going with the major order. But as of right now, I'm only hopping on a few times just to play the game, then to hop back off. Anyways, enough with what I think. What do you think? What are your thoughts about the whole situation with Helldivers 2? Do you think that this will motivate you to come back? Or are you just done with the game until balancing nerfs and everything has been updated? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Continuing on with the video here, you can tell that the exosuit has this really nice bumblebee yellow color to it. And I really dig that because it's not the basic black metallic or metal color that you see on the first exosuit. So this one is definitely interesting to me. You do have the rockets on both sides, which is also nice, or missiles I should say. But overall it does look to be quite effective against certain bugs except for the bile titan as you can tell what i would suggest for you guys out here is to make sure that when it comes down to judging the stratagems it is leaked content so things can change over time you know the update can potentially make this uh exosuit a lot better even the older one and i know i get it i said that at the start and i'm saying it again so that this way you guys know for sure that this stuff right here is bound to change right now it does look pretty cool it looks interesting to use on different bug types again besides the file titan but other than that it's awesome to see that this is actually something that we will be receiving well anyways i'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion about helldivers 2 and the exosuit the mech definitely looks awesome it looks different it looks completely different from the original one because of course you have two missiles and you have a different color here when it comes down to the overall idea yeah it does sound awesome but with that being said, what's going to stop everything? Because when it comes down to the nerfs, how do we know that this exosuit is not going to be trash like one week later or two weeks? I think when it comes down to it, that right there is what worries the player base so much that most of them have either quit, burnt out, or just are not coming back ever. And to be quite fair, I'm personally on the edge too because if this last update is at a point where it's no return, I think I might be done guys. I hate to say that because I love updating you guys on news, but, you know, it, it happens, right? With almost every game, something, you know, terrible goes on and then the game goes downhill. And it's weird because it seems like that's a frequent situation that goes on, you know? Something happens in the game and then all the players are like, no, we do not like it, and then they're out. It's, it's all weird. With everything that we have talked about today, let me know your thoughts. Are you done with Helldivers 2? Are you excited about the exosuit? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.